people ask me, what is Nagasaru? Nagasaru Jiu Jitsu Self Defense is a study of movement and uh, a motion that addresses uh, the common sense in self defense that borders on the outer limits of simplicity. In other words, keep it simple. It's really based on your, your natural body language. In turn, we have to learn how to uh, translate that body language where uh, our bodies learn how to speak their language. Not their mind, but our bodies learn how to speak their language, see? The cuts are coming from wherever the blade is found in line with somebody else's body, okay? Instead of you trying to take it, put it in a prefixed place, okay? Mm -hmm. Wherever that line, that's where it cuts, mm -hmm. okay? Now, Great. off of that cut, where you, wherever you are, off of that follow through, if the next blade addresses another line, you cut on that line. So now, also understand that the blade cuts on the way in, and it cuts on the way out. Okay? Now, you got to be doing something with your body. But the body kind of, body flows with the cuts. And you're flowing like water. What's out goes in. What's in goes out. Uh, what's up comes down. What's down goes up. You see what I'm saying? Now, in the cutting, okay, you go, you go a straight line can also translate into a circle, and a circle into a, a straight line. See? So there are no stances. Instead of stances, okay, wherever you are at that moment, that's where the next cut comes from. As far as motion is concerned, you have to learn to transfer motion into movement, and the movement into the target of the desired place that you're going on this person's body. Three things that all martial arts have in common, all martial arts all across the planet, is timing, distance, and balance. As far as fighting is concerned, you want to make your fighting very quick, very violent, and very short, okay? The street soldier, okay? Not the street fighter, street soldier, okay? He's not dancing to our dance steps. Street soldiers do not carry weapons to fight with, they carry weapons to win, right? so we can't uh, use our training partner in the place of the street soldier. The training partner is there for you to work on timing, distance, balance, and movement. He's not there for you to kick his butt and say, now, since I can kick his butt, I can now go out and if need be, uh, to kick street soldiers butt. Street soldier is not dancing to your dance steps. That's a street soldier. You know nothing about him. You know everything about your training partner, but you don't know anything about street soldier. You're not going to know anything about him until he's there. A street soldier, he is coming off of tried, proven, done it hundreds of times. Well, we are basically coming off a of theory because we haven't done it yet. So that means that we got to have good sound theory. So that means for good sound theory, we have to be like the CSI crime scene or investigators. We got to find that DNA. Another thing we have to also look at is man beats man. Within anything that's man is involved in, man is the flaw. He's the strength and the weaknesses of, of it. So it's not the system. It ain't the style. It's not about where it comes from. It's, it's the man. So now, how involved are you in with your system? Okay. How much do you believe in you? How much you believe in what you are doing? This technique thing is just an extension of the person doing it. It's an extension. Uh, another thing we have to remember is there are two words that is very, very dangerous for us as martial artists, and that's always and never. You know, when in our training we say, well, the street soldier always does this, and he always does that. That's totally incorrect. The street soldier does as he please. 